Hello everybody, my name is Krista Mars. I am a registered nurse. I am also a VAD coordinator. I am primarily responsible for taking care of patients with mechanical circulatory support or mechanical heart pumps. I have been working here at Auctioner for almost 30 years and I started off as a unit secretary. Mechanical circulatory support is exactly what it sounds like. It is mechanical support for the heart. There's temporary devices such as impellas or tandems or balloon pumps, and then there are durable devices, HeartMate 3, HeartMate 2, HVAD. Those are known as LVAD, left ventricular assist device, or VAD, ventricular assist device. Those two terms are used interchangeably. People need these durable devices because their heart is very sick. Their heart is not able to pump blood to the rest of their body, which is what they need, and the LVAD does that for them. Patients who receive these devices can either be done as bridge to transplant, which means they are listed for transplant, or destination therapy, which means they are not listed for transplant. We here at Auctioner implant patients of all ages, from pediatric all the way up to 70s. Educating patients to take care of their LVAD is a team effort. We spend a lot of time educating them ahead of time. We have the nurses on the units, the physical occupational therapists, the advanced practice providers, the surgeons. It really is a team effort in making sure that they know what exactly they're going to be giving into. Palliative care is also on board. They come in behind us and they evaluate whether or not the patients in the family truly understand what it is that they're about to get into. We have support groups that are available for potential patients and actual patients. And we also like to have a real patient with an LVAD meet a potential patient where they can talk one-on-one -on -one and ask real questions without any of us in the room with them and get honest feedback from anyone other than what we're telling them. Educating them post-op is very similar. Again, it's a team effort. Physical, occupational therapy, and speech therapy, they spend a lot of time teaching the patient about their equipment, walking them. The nurses start to teach the caregiver about the dressing change. They meet with a, an equipment coordinator who also goes over everything. And again, it's, a, it's an all comers, it's a group effort. We as VAD coordinator, we come in in the middle and at the end of all this, we make sure that all the pieces of the puzzle are put together and that the patient truly knows how to take care of themselves and their LVAD and their equipment. They know what to do in the event of an emergency, how to get in touch with us after hours, how to troubleshoot things, and kind of wrap everything up all in one so that the patient can live a, life, a long life without many complications is the goal. So I have a demo here of what an LVAD actually looks like. What I'm holding in my hand is a HeartMate 3 LVAD and this is what is implanted into the patient's heart sitting inside of their chest. This piece right here goes directly into the heart and then this is all connected to the heart and then this is tunneled out through the stomach where there is going to be a sterile dressing change that will be performed every day on the patient by their trained caregiver. The blood goes into the LVAD right here and then it is exited through this outflow graph and this is sewn into the ascending aorta, sometimes the descending aorta, which is the large vessel of your body that distributes all of the blood that the LVAD pumps through. One of these is running in water right here, which is difficult to see, but it is running in water and that is what it does. It just continuously runs. We set the controller, which this is the controller. We program the controller using this monitor here. So we change the speeds and we can actually interrogate the device and look for alarms and troubleshoot using this monitor here. We tell the controller what to do and then the controller actually tells the pump what to do. There is a machine that the person sleeps connected to at night so they can run on AC power. They are plugged in at night, but during the day, the patients get up, they have a series of things that they need to do, which is what the nurses, physical therapy, occupational therapy, 
really helps them learn in the hospital and then they go ahead and they put themselves on batteries and then they're free to go and live their life, go grocery shopping, do things with their family because they have batteries. They also have an emergency bag. That emergency bag goes with them everywhere they go. It has a backup controller in it in case this one malfunctions and it also has extra batteries and battery clips. That is the primary system of an LVAD. There is other pieces of equipment and durable things that patients wear, but this is primarily what you would see when you're in the hospital taking care of an LVAD patient or at home, minus the monitor. This monitor actually does not go home with patients.